What's going on guys, it's your boy Xana from X4 Baseball and welcome back to another video. And look, the fact is, if you play a sport, if you're an athlete, you've got to be getting in the gym, getting your work in. I'm going to be doing a three-part special. Uh, the first day today is going to be upper body, the next day is going to be leg day, and the third part is going to be abs. And I'm going to show you how I format these into my workout, and I'm going to be showing you how you can format them and the exercises I do. And I know since Corona is happening, you can't get into the gym. So if you don't have some stuff at home that you can do workouts with, I'm going to show you some body weight exercises that you can do as well. So you can be sure to get your work in, even if you can get into the gym. So without further ado, let's get into upper body. All right. I myself am fortunate enough to have, uh, I have a bar. It's not a great bar, but it's a bar and I'll take it. I have dumbbells and I have different weights and stuff. I'm fortunate to have those things. Uh, some of you might not have it, but like I said, I will definitely be showing you how to do some body weight exercise at the end of the video, and I will be putting a little uh, card at the bottom telling you what time you can go to if you want to see those. All right, so there's two ways you can form out your workout program. Uh, you can do push and pull days, where it's like one day you'll mainly focus on chest and back, where you're like doing pushing exercises, dumbbell presses, and then you'll have pull days where it's like curls hammer curls, and then you'll have triceps and push days. You can either do a push days or pull days. You can find tons of things on the internet about different exercises and different days. What I like to do is I like to do arms and then chest and back. So one day, uh, so for example, Monday, I'll do biceps, triceps, and shoulders. And then Tuesday, I'll do chest, back, lower back. And then I'll mix abs and legs in there as well. But today we're just talking about upper body. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to go, be going over every single uh, exercise that I do, not in a specific order, just every exercise. Then I'm going to show on screen my workout program aligned in the different ways. And then you can look at that, take a look, uh, maybe align your program how I do it, or you can do it something different, like push days, pull days, or how I do arms, chest, and back, different like that. So we're going to start with all the bicep exercises first, then we're going to go to tricep, then we're going to go to chest and back. So... Uh, starting off with hammer curls, what you're going to do, you're going to do three sets of 10 reps. Any way, the comfortable weight that you're good. You're just going to hold your arms down to your sides. You can either do it with one at a time or with both. And you're just going to curl up straight up like you're holding a hammer. And you're going to do that 10 times three sets. Next, you're going to do crossbody hammer curls. And these are when you hold it like a hammer curl, vertical grip, but you're going to come up to your opposite pec. And you're going to rotate on each side. And you're going to do that three sets, 10 each. The next exercise is a close grip pull-up. And these things are hard. I struggle myself doing these. It's body weight stuff. You got to grab. So you're going to grab the bar with your hands almost touching or touching. And you're just going to pull yourself up. And as you pull up, you want to curl your biceps. And then you'll go back down and curl up. And you really want to squeeze your biceps and go down really slow. And you're gonna do that 10 times, three sets. The next exercise, twist curls. And what these are is when you're gonna hold it, vertical grip like you're gonna do a hammer curl, but you're gonna twist the, twist the dumbbells as you come up, and then you're gonna go back down. Being, being sure to clench your bicep when you get to the top and flex it all the way down till you get to the bottom. And you're gonna make sure you do it slow on the way up slow on the way down and you'll definitely feel the burn in your bicep. Next up, we've got the close grip barbell curl. And this is where you're gonna take the barbell, you're gonna put the desired weight on it. I usually do uh, 40 pounds and you'll do a close grip where your hands are not touching but they're really close and you're gonna curl up and doing the close grip helps you work on building the long head of your bicep which is pretty much the outside of it. So I do that three sets, 10 times. Next, what you're gonna do is the wide grip uh, barbell curl. And that's where you hold a wider grip and you curl up. Being sure to clench and flex your bicep and slowly go down on the way down. You're gonna do that three sets, 10 times each. Being And what that does, that one works on the short head of your bicep on the in internal part. Next up, we have got the tri we have a tricep, like the overhead, not sure what they're called, but you'll, you can see the demonstration. You grab a, either a cattle weight or a dumbbell and you hold it over your head and you push up, clenching your, and clenching and flexing your triceps, 
and then slowly come back down and then go back up and slowly go back down. You're gonna do that 10 times, three sets. That's what you're working on your bice, uh, your tricep and you're making sure that builds nice and strong and you're making sure that your triceps can be built that way. The next one is the tricep. Uh, I'm not sure what these ones are called either, but you basically grab a dumbbell, lean on a chair and uh, just flex your arms straight back, flex your tricep and then pull it back into your chest. You're gonna do that three sets, 10 times. And you're gonna really make sure you're going slow out and slow back in. And these ones can be tough in the beginning if you haven't been doing them at all. So you gotta make sure you start out with a light weight, maybe like five pounds, 10 pounds, and then slowly work your way up. Because it's better to go slow and light and work your way up than it is to like tear a muscle trying to go heavy. So that would that's the second tricep. Then you have dips. Now you might not be able to do this because uh, you can't get into a gym, but if you have this at home, dips are great to work on triceps. You hold yourself up and then you slowly dip down into, uh, into an L shape and then you push yourself back up, being sure to flex those triceps really hard. I do three sets of 10 on dips. Last but certainly not least, we have thumbs up dumbbell presses. And these, instead of holding a horizontal grip like you're gonna do a bench press, or a dumbbell press, you're going to do a vertical grip and you're gonna push them up. And instead of just going straight up, you're gonna rotate your thumbs up, be, being sure to flex your tricep when you get to the top and slowly releasing on the way down. Three sets of 10 for triceps. Now on the chest and back. The first exercise I do for chest and back is dumbbell flies. And a lot of you might know what dumbbell flies are. It's basically when you take the dumbbells in your hand lay back on a bench and you're gonna hold the vertical grip above your head and you're gonna separate like you're spreading wings and then you're gonna come back together over top of your head making sure to flex your pectorals and your chest when you get to the top spreading them out going nice and slow being sure to feel that stretch on the outer pec when you get to the bottom and being sure to flex on your way back up you're gonna do three sets of ten next up bench press wide this one is to work on the outer uh, pectorals and to build those up. So you're gonna just basically lay back in a bench, grab the bar, and you're gonna come up, wide grip, flex your arms, and come back down. And these will really help build your chest, build it from the outside, work it, working in, and make your chest look really nice. So that is bench press wide grip. Next up is dumbbell presses. And this is like the Thumbs up dumbbell press, but instead you're gonna hold a horizontal grip and press together when you get to the top and release back down. Trying to feel a nice stretch in your outer pectoral when you get to the bottom and you wanna flex your pectorals together when you get to the top. And the next, uh, the next exercise I do for chest is wide grip pull-ups. And these are also quite hard to do. You wanna grab the pull-up bar wide, pull yourself up, and really trying to, when you pull yourself up, you don't want to just go up, you want to go up and pull yourself kind of in, and you'll really feel the stretch on your pectorals, and then you want to go back down and keep doing that. Three sets of 10. And the last um, exercise for chest and back I do is a normal grip bench press. And these just works on your back and the sides of your chest, mostly back though. And you're gonna do three sets of 10 normal grip bench press. And that's basically what I do for my upper body days. Now I'm gonna show you different things you can do if you don't have equipment at your home. Uh, so I'm gonna be showing you body weight exercises that you can do with your upper body. First thing you can do is different push-up variations. You can do it uh, military style. These works on your triceps. When you go thin, you wanna flex your tricep and push back out. It really works on your tricep and really helps to build that muscle. Next up is normal width. You just kind of slightly turn your hands in a little bit, go down and go back up. This push up helps to work on your biceps. Now you'll do three sets of 10 of each of these, three sets of 10 for pretty much every single exercise. And then you can do wide grip going down and then back up. Those help work on your outer pectorals. So those are push ups. Those are different push ups you can do. You can also do incline push ups where you put your feet up on the, like a chair or a table, and then you can do decline where you put your um, hands up on the table and you push down and your feet are on the floor. And that's basically it for my upper body workout. 
Um, like I said, tomorrow I will be coming out with leg day, and then the following day will be abs. Uh, on, I'm going to be showing on screen in a minute my entire workout program if you want to take some ideas from that. If you want to just uh, take a little bit from each day, maybe do push and pull days. Maybe you want to do arms and chest and back day. Uh, whatever you want to do. Format your workout how you want to do. I just thought I'd give you a bunch of different exercises and throw in some body weight exercises that you can do as well because you can't get into the gym due to the coronavirus that's going on. Um, hopefully that will blow by past. Hopefully it'll be gone by summer so we can still have some of our baseball season left. Now, if you like the video, please leave a like. Um, drop something in the comments. Let me know just anything. Any video ideas you want me to do. If you have any questions, anything at all, let, uh, let me know in the comments below. I also have my email linked in the description. If you want to check that out, email me a question, anything you have. Um, yeah, and that's basically it. So if you like the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. We're really trying to grow in 2020 and hit that subscribe button because you know, it's free. Nothing's going to happen. You're just going to be supporting the channel, showing that you enjoy the videos. And yeah, that's ba basically it. So be ready for tomorrow. We're coming out with leg day and remember to make a steal.